guys what's up welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you all are doing well so if you have noticed i try a lot of different thigh workouts from a lot of different youtubers because i want those inner thigh gaps and so today we are going to try out pamela reeves inner thigh workout for seven days and by the end of seven days we are going to see the results so let's just get started with the video Okay, so right here I'm at 55 centimeters, and here I am at 52 centimeters. So it's the first day of Pamela Reeves inner thigh workout and the workout was pretty easy also because it says low impact workout. It is a 10 minute workout and trust me the workout burns like crazy. So I have tried a lot of thigh gap workouts in the past but I have never clarified what is a thigh gap. So let's just go ahead and learn what is a thigh gap. It is basically a space between the inner thighs of some people when standing upright with feet touching. The website of Fitness Blender has also clearly mentioned that the inner thigh gap is often seen on very lean individuals but it also has something to do with the width of your hips compared to the length of your femoral head. The question is, can we reduce inner thigh fat with exercising? Well, the short answer is that we probably won't lose much if it's genetics. However, body fat can be reduced with proper exercise and diet. But we'll lose that fat from all over our body. We cannot spot reduce areas of our body with exercise. <laughs> possible for every body type to get a thigh gap? Well, the answer is no. Most women are endomorphs, that is curvy, feminine and soft. Mesomorphs are muscular with a medium frame and ectomorphs are slender with lean muscles and minimal fat. They are the good candidates for thigh gap. Yes, it is easier for ectomorphs to gain thigh gap but that doesn't mean that endomorphs and mesomorphs cannot gain thigh gap. <laughs> And here we are at 53 and a half centimeters. And here we are at 49 and a half centimeters. So you saw the results and I definitely lost a few centimeters from my thigh area which is why I'll give this workout a thumbs up and will recommend each and every one of you to try it out if you are wanting to lose fat around your thigh area. However, I still haven't achieved those slim inner thigh gap and that is why I'll keep on trying different workouts. So keep on coming to this channel for more such content. So I hope this workout was helpful. If it was, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!